Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. And as hazelnut growers in Oregon finish up harvest, one of the things that should be on their minds, especially those with young orchards, is bacterial blight. Here's Jay Scheidt with Oregon State University with some advice in managing blight. After harvest, it's a good time to think about bacterial blight control. Generally, it's a problem only in orchards that are about five years or younger. So all those new orchards that have gone in, especially this first, the first year, uh, they're very susceptible to bacterial blight uh, when the fall rains come. The only thing we really have to get after bacterial blight from a pesticide standpoint is copper-based materials. Copper-based materials are uh, acceptable to use uh, at that time. will knock the bacterial populations down to a point where uh, it won't be a problem. Reducing stress on the trees is the utmost thing for controlling bacterial blight, uh, such as providing irrigation uh, during that first summer. Those are all good things to do. We've noticed uh, a lot less bacterial blight uh, when we put that irrigation on, or if you have a thick mulch layer to help retain moisture in the ground, all of these things help reduce stress on those trees. For the fall here, after harvest, a bacterial uh, blight control spray of uh, some copper-based material uh, will help in that uh, control. The copper-based material is only effective to prevent the trees from becoming infected. If they're already infected, they already got a problem, it's not going to do you any good. Remove those trees and replant is probably the best tactic for that. This is simply a preventative application to prevent any bacterial blight problems depending on what the winter weather is going to be this coming year. Once we have bacterial blight, really there's not a lot we can do about that. Uh, the diseased tissue uh, needs to be removed. That also helps uh, renew, remove inoculum uh, for the trees that haven't become infected yet. So uh, depending on how uh, severe it is in the orchard, it certainly if it's your uh, temporary trees, those can easily be removed without too much problem. If it's the permanent trees, uh, probably replanting would be the, the better method overall. Thank you, Jay. Jay also contributes regularly to Pacific Nut Producer Magazine's Orchard Task List, so if you want to stay current on best practices month to month in the hazelnut orchard, be sure to subscribe to this free publication today. I'm Matthew Malcolm, PacificNutProducer.com.